Good morning, friends. <laughs> Hello. Are you there? Hello. Thank you for being patient with me. Oh, there's Muffin. I'll move over so Muffin gets uh, her screen time because really, let's face it, the pets are the star of the show. <laughs> All right. Welcome back. So, okay, Muffin, don't do that, sweetheart. Don't do that. Okay. Um, <laughs> she's going to do it anyway. So I'm so sorry that I missed yesterday. Um, my dad is in the hospital and medically and physically, he is probably gonna be just fine. He'll probably be there a few more days. He um, is diabetic and his uh, blood sugar got way out of whack and it got really um, not good. Um, so uh, yesterday and Monday, I have been at the hospital back and forth because um, it's time to find him an, an alternate living situation. So in addition to this, you know, medical thing, which is important, um, it's not life threatening I, at this at this stage. So he's doing OK. But um, it is time that my brother and I find my dad alternate housing. So um, my dad is single and has been for a lot of years and it's time for him to uh, get some some more care so that's where i've been when i've disappeared the last couple weeks and and i anticipate that there might be more days where i just disappear and don't show up because this is going to take some time to figure out um so he's uh, going to be in the hospital a few more days and then a rehab hospital, which is great because that'll buy us some more time to find him a permanent place. And in the meantime, he's very safe. Good morning, Linda. Yeah. So, um, you know, it is what it is. Everybody goes through this. My dad is my last parent that I have left. Um, you know, I have already lost my mom and my stepdad and both my in-laws. So... We just have my dad to take care of. He's a stubborn old goat. Hi, Brian. Okay, slow internet. Oh, okay. Um, but anyway, that's where I've been. So I apologize when I like disappear without any notice because I haven't really figured out a way to like notify you guys. Um, so I literally was thinking like, how do I even let them know that I'm not coming today? You know, and so... Um, Brian and Carleen are, you know, my administrators who help me with comments and stuff in the chat. And I'm so, so grateful for them. But I don't know that you guys know how to do that, you know, how to get on YouTube and and do a notice. I could post on the community tab, but I feel like nobody ever really looks there. So I guess this will be my notice to you all, friends, that... Um, when I have news and I can't like let you know what's going on, I'll just post on the community tab. So if you're confused um, and don't know like what's going on with Ellen, where is she? Um, you can check the community tab. Um, I think that's probably the best. You know what I'm? Do you know what I'm talking about? So like at the top of your YouTube, uh, my YouTube page, there's like um, videos, playlists, short, live. And then like community is like the next tab. You did check the community tab. Okay, Linda, thank you. So I will, um, I'll do that from now on. I'll just leave a quick note on the community tab if I'm not coming for some reason so that you guys don't worry. I know some of you were very worried and, and I very much appreciate your good vibes and prayers and all of that stuff. So um, I will endeavor to, I think that, I think that makes the most sense to to message you all there. So in the meantime, gosh, we're already at four minutes and I'm still rambling on. But my topic for today after all of this is, um, is you know, I was thinking about that, um, the, the Bible passage about like a, a time to sow and a time to reap, you know, a time to a time to dance and a time, you know, to pray and, and all of that. And I was thinking about there, is there a time to not crochet? And I think that there is. Um, and, and, and while I love crochet and I think it's like, why can't we take it everywhere all the time? Um, I did not take crochet with me to the hospital with dad the last two days because I was visiting um, and I was not um, like years and years and years ago with my mom. It was like a vigil of like lots of hours of waiting and sitting 
And I definitely took crochet then, and I think that was really appropriate while I waited in the waiting room and took my turn to visit. We were only, we were doing limited visitors. So I felt like that was super appropriate to bring crochet then. But, um, but with my dad, you know, it was just like visiting and him in the room and, and he's alert and talking and stuff. And, and I really wanted to focus on him. So, um, yeah, I felt like I needed to be present in the moment. You take it with you sometimes, but can't concentrate, totally understand. So there was a few times when, you know, I needed to get kicked out of the room. And I could have sat and crocheted in the one lobby, but um, I also brought Mara with me yesterday, and so um, I just didn't bring it, and it's okay. I like I, it's it's fine. Sometimes, um, you know, even if I had brought it, maybe I would have been too distracted or tense or something, and my gauge would have been messed up, or I, you know, it's fine. So um, I do think that there are times um, to crochet and times not to crochet. Um, and I don't judge people. Um, I, it's kind of weird sometimes that uh, people in the community um, will, like if I see people crocheting it, um, I, I don't ever see people crocheting at our church, but I've, I've heard other people bringing um, yarn to their uh, worship services. And, you know, who am I? I mean, I certainly understand um, that I can do multiple things at the same time but other people who don't crochet or knit maybe don't understand that when you're crocheting or knitting and you've got a pattern that you've memorized that you really can pay attention to what's going on at the same time I've seen people knit and stuff in business meetings or office meetings and I don't have any problem with it but I know people who don't crochet or knit maybe don't understand that it's it's possible to be very present at the same time but anyway, sign up, tell me below. Um, uh, give me a thumbs up if you don't mind today, if you're here. And um, let me know in the comments below, is there a time when it's not time to crochet? And also, um, the, from going forward, I'll make a quick note in the community tab if, uh, if I have quick news to disseminate so that you guys know what's going on. So that is all. My plan is to be here again tomorrow morning. You have a crabby pastor, he'd have a hissy fit. Yeah, because he doesn't understand perhaps that you are um, paying attention. But also, I guess it could be distracting to other people if they hear the clicking of needles for knitting. But also, it's just so darn fascinating to crochet and knit that people just want to see what you're making, which I totally understand. So anyway, leave a comment below if there, you feel like there is a time when it's not time to crochet or knit. And I will plan on seeing you tomorrow. And um, that is always the plan moving forward, Monday through Thursday especially, and then Friday catches catch can. And um, that is all for today. So hope you've enjoyed this extended eight minute uh, crochet podcast. See you tomorrow. Bye.